Hello there, so today, does an economical quality of life super powerful weapon sound good to you? And no, it's not the shredder, so don't worry. Got two options for you, let's get into it. Now, both of these options have some things in common. They hit really hard while using very little ammo and keeping them fed with ammo is super easy. Both heavy guns, one ballistic, the other energy. So let's start with the ballistic. And for that, we have the Gatling gun with a nice Appalachian Thunder paint here, two shot explosive, really fun roll, but the usual go-tos like anti-armor or bloodied executioners, all of those apply, they're all good options to have. Now the Gatling gun, of course, uses the five millimeter ammo, so very cheap to craft. Can also use the ultrasight version, massive mag of 500, and with one point in lock and load, a surprisingly quick reload speed as well. Couple shots and enemies are no more, and you can even glitch the fire rate and fire much faster than intended by holding the fire button down and just spamming your ADS button. So increased DPS there, free of charge basically. I'll get more into the ammo in a little bit, but yeah, really great gun, hits hard. You can just chill with it. Bigger enemies like your behemoths, no problem. The 100 super mutants, ain't no issues. Two shot explosive is also useful in event situations to get tags on the enemies around the place. So another thing to keep in mind for your rolls, but yeah, about 20 rounds there for the behemoth. Really good considering it's five millimeter. Uh, that faster fire rate make sure you're in first person and just spam that ads button and yeah it'll go as fast as you can spam it basically uh, can't do this with our energy option but it doesn't exactly need the help and that reload really really snappy so on to the next ballistic option out of the way we have our energy option which is the plasma caster the heavy gun that likes vats i have a bloodied vats roll here but again anti-armor also a great choice to go for and really nice one-shot kills with the plasma caster so super economical on the ammo usage it hits really really hard ease of use because of vats is massive uh, bigger targets like your death claws behemoths couple of shots and they're done and yeah i've been using and having a lot of fun lately with the plasma caster not something i used much in the past but definitely more so lately now the plasma caster uses the plasma cartridges so not as cheap to craft as you know the five millimeter for the gatling gun however for both daily ops plasma caster you're one shot in these enemies and they're dropping like 16 cartridges for you so it's super easy to keep it fed with ammo spending very little but getting a lot back the gatling gun also similar you know a couple of shots and they're dropping 40 rounds for you so daily ops the go-to ammo farming strat especially effective here with these two weapons because you use so little and you just get a lot back so don't overlook a very easy uplink day for some ops farming just go in get the kills for the ammo and leave when you have enough but yeah of course use both of these in power armor for maximum benefit and we'll just quickly swap over to that uh, gatling gun and we'll be getting a nice amount of ammo back here as well of course the pals will vary you know some will be smaller some will be larger uh, but you should be getting way more back than you are spending some of the smaller ones there only 10 for the five millimeter but we should get some nice 40 pals here there we go so yeah getting way more back than you're actually spending with the weapon and back to the plasma caster for a bigger target like the death claw go for that belly and two shots there so bigger targets also really really economical with the shots uh, with the plasma caster and just for comparison if we are taking the gatling gun in vats which is not recommended but just to see the bullets uh, it is two shots then to the head uh, so plasma caster one shot to the head uh, gatling gun two shots this is a just purely bloodied roll here instead of that two shot explosive so also if you take it a bit slower can be even more economical the builds are pretty standard won't spend too much time here but you know the heavy gunner perks stabilized one gun army your usual go-to cards basically tenderizer and bloody mess adrenaline for more damage uh nerd rage if you're bloodied etc uh, lone wanderer if you're alone if you're in a team then of course inspirational stuff like that so the usual but let me know what you think of the weapons do you use any of these regularly and hey do me a favor if you enjoyed hit that like and subscribe button stick around for more fallout goodness as always massive thank you to the channel members for their support but for now thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one